Global IP Trust, Presence The International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, or, ITER Since the discovery of creating fire, mankind has been fascinated by the way energy is created. We crave for new forms, and uses for the energy we create. We found a great number of ways to harvest energy, from the natural resources of the Earth. From hydroelectric power generation, to thermonuclear energy creation, we have been exceeding the limits, set by each era of energy research. But everything comes at a price. Our race to use up more and more energy, is slowly destroying the very planet we live in. We dig up coal from the ground, that was deposited millions of years ago. But they come in limited quantities, and we are running out of such fossil fuels. Moreover, using these fossil fuels, is slowly damaging our planet's atmosphere. The harmful greenhouse gases are slowly killing the Earth. That is why countries are now investing billions of dollars, into sustainable forms of energy generation. Hydroelectric power, solar energy, and wind energy, are some of the most widely used forms of energy generation. But there is another form of energy, that seems to be becoming the fuel of the future. Nuclear energy. A very large amount of money is being funneled into nuclear research. We now have a considerable amount of nuclear reactors across the planet. Most of these reactors work on a principle, called nuclear fission. Nuclear fission is the process of splitting a radioactive atomic nucleus, into two much less active ones. This process produces a tremendous amount of heat, which is used to spin turbines, to create electricity. But nuclear fission reactions produce a lot of radioactive waste. This is extremely harmful if exposed to the outside world. And we are running out of ways to dump this nuclear waste. One solution to this problem, is to literally develop a way to harness the power, of the sun. The sun is perhaps the largest nuclear reactor in the solar system. It produces energy using a process called nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is the opposite of fission. It takes two lighter atomic nuclei, and fuse it to form a heavier one. In the sun, two hydrogen nuclei, combine to form a helium nucleus. This in turn, produces extreme amounts of heat, which is exponentially much higher, than that produced during nuclear fission. The process does not produce any radioactive waste, and is clean and energy rich. Since fusion seems to be a much better option than fission, scientists are developing a way to harness that energy. This is where the eater comes in. The term eater, stands for International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor. ITER is an international nuclear fusion research, and engineering megaproject, that will be the world's largest magnetic confinement plasma physics experiment. It is an attempt to replicate the fusion processes of the Sun, to create energy on Earth, by using an experimental tokamak nuclear fusion reactor, that is being built next to the Kaderich facility, in the south of France. If that sounds confusing, it is basically creating an artificial Sun, here on Earth. The primary goal of ITER, is to demonstrate the scientific and technological feasibility, of safe, clean, and unlimited fusion energy, for peaceful use. ITER will also test new technologies, such as tritium breeding in a real fusion environment, and its results are intended to bolster the global nuclear fusion industry. The initial international cooperation for a nuclear fusion project, that was the foundation of ITER, began in 1979, with the International Tokamak Reactor, or INER, which had four partners, the Soviet Union, the European Atomic Energy Community, the United States, and Japan. However, the INER project stalled, until Mikhail Gorbachev became General Secretary, of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, in March 1985. Gorbachev first revived interest in a collaborative fusion project, in an October 1985 meeting, with French President François Mitterrand, and then the idea was further developed in November 1985, at the Geneva summit with US President Ronald Reagan. The ITER project is funded and run by seven member parties, the European Union, China, India, Japan, Russia, South Korea, and the United States, with the United Kingdom and Switzerland participating through Euratom. 
In total, the EATER project encompasses 35 countries that represent half the world's population, and 85% of global GDP. EATER also has cooperation agreements with Australia, Kazakhstan, and Canada. Construction of the EATER complex started in 2013, and assembly of the tow comet began in 2020. The initial budget for EATER was close to 6 billion euros, but now, the total price of construction and operations for EATER, is expected to be between 18 euros and 22 billion euros. Whatever the ultimate budget, EATER has already been described as the most expensive science experiment of all time, the most complicated engineering project in human history, and one of the most ambitious human collaborations since the development of the International Space Station, and the Large Hadron Collider. When the fusion experiments begin, the official calculations state, that 50 megawatts of heating power will be injected into the plasma, to create fusion power of 500 megawatts for 400 second pulses. As an experimental reactor, ITER is not equipped with turbines to generate electricity, and all heat energy created will be vented, so it is the demo reactor, the device to follow, that will develop a model fusion power station, to produce electricity. The ITER consists of several sections, which include the vacuum vessel, breeder blanket, magnet system, cryostat, cooling systems, and additional heating systems. The vacuum vessel is the central part of the ITER machine. It is a double-walled steel container, in which the plasma is contained by means of magnetic fields. The primary function of the vacuum vessel, is to provide a hermetically sealed plasma container. The breeder blanket, located adjacent to the vacuum vessel, serves to produce tritium through reaction with neutrons from the plasma. There are several reactions that produce tritium within the blanket. Eater is based on magnetic confinement fusion, that uses magnetic fields to contain the fusion fuel, in plasma form. The magnet system used in the Eater tokamak, will be the largest superconducting magnet system ever built. To achieve fusion, plasma particles must be heated to temperatures that reach as high as 150 million degrees Celsius, and to achieve these extreme heats, multiple heating methods must be used. The Eater cryostat is a large 3,850-ton stainless steel structure, surrounding the vacuum vessel and the superconducting magnets, with the purpose of providing a supercool vacuum environment. The Tokamak will use interconnected cooling systems, to manage the heat generated during operation. The main challenge for creating and developing a project as ambitious as the Eater, is the project itself. Creating an entire sun on the surface of the Earth, is no simple feat. Managing the extreme heat produced during plasma generation, will require years and years of experimental data. The reactor was expected to take 10 years to build, and ITER had planned to test its first plasma in 2020, and achieve full fusion by 2023, however, the schedule is now to test first plasma in 2025, and full fusion in 2035. Site preparation has begun in Kaderish, France, and French President Emmanuel Macron launched the assembly phase of the project, at a ceremony in 2020. Under the revised schedule, work to achieve the first hydrogen plasma discharge is now 70% complete, and considered on track. The ITER thermonuclear fusion reactor has been designed to use 50 megawatts of heating power, to create a plasma of 500 megawatts, for periods of 400 to 600 seconds. Upon completion, ITER will be the largest of more than 100 fusion reactors, built since the 1950s. Its planned successor, DEMO, is expected to be the first fusion reactor, to produce electricity in an experimental environment. The demo phase is expected to lead to full-scale electricity producing fusion power stations, and future commercial reactors. Fusion is a very difficult process to achieve. Our first steps at understanding the working of the stars and replicating them, seems to be on the right track. One day, the entire world could literally be powered by the sun. The ITER and many other fusion reaction projects are forming the basis, for the energy of the future. For more information on the ITER, visit ITER.org.